I thought about it. I said, now listen, should I talk about freebase and what is, or something? And people say, well, no, because then people start doing it. No, let me, I got to talk about what happened to me on freebasing. Freebasing, I freebase about eight months straight. <laughs> My bitch left me, I went crazy. <laughs> but I fell in love with this pipe. <laughs> this pipe controlled my very being. This motherfucker say, don't answer the phone. We have smoking to do. All the pipe is talking about, now come on. Don't put me down anywhere where I might fall. Cause it's two in the morning and it's hard to get one of me. And when I first did it, I knew it was going to fuck me up, but I had to do it. I just had to be hip. This mother said, you ever tried this? Rich? This motherfucker said, he's going to string me out. This is a dope dealer that need me to get hooked so he can get some free bass. You know what I mean? This dude, he just used to snort a little coke like this. Going. I saw him and he's, I said, what's wrong with you? This motherfucker was talking about, I remember free bait. I say, what? Free bait. He told me he saw Jesus. I say, well, okay. And he said, you do it in women to do it. And that's how he got me. Women will fuck. I said, give something to your old lady, she'll fuck. I should have known if it's my old lady, naturally she gonna fuck. <laughs> I forgot. I thought I was tricking somebody that was giving me pussy. <laughs> it started out innocently enough. You know, every now and then. Little bitch, no, no, no. That's what he said. No, 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 bass. Fuck it. Nah. Then pretty soon I noticed I wasn't walking as far away from the pipe as I used to. Because I used to walk, I put the pipe and I go, ha, ah, fuck. Hey, I'd be all out in here and shit. And then motherfuckers that you used to share with you go, hey, ain't you got none of your own shit? I was out one night and we was doing it and a woman said, the fire doesn't last long enough. And we kept trying to get it. I said, what kind of fire do you want? And the dude said, the kind that lasts forever. <laughs> I'm just telling you about a junkie. I was, and I didn't know it. I kept saying, I can quit any time I want to. Finally, one day myself said, when? <laughs> I said, I thought you liked me. You're going to ask me that. And I don't give a fuck when you're a junkie. You will not admit it. You will find excuses to smoke or shoot up or something. You'll be, hey, look. Rich, you gotta go to work. Hey, I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> fuck it, I ain't going to motherfucking work. And you go in the room, you lay down and say, you understand, don't you? Then after a while, you start sneaking around. Because I, I have parents. I did at this time. My aunties and shit were still alive. And they loved me. But they wouldn't say nothing to me that was, like, obvious. They, should, they say shit like, oh, you're a chemist, huh, son? <laughs> no, can you move that so we can fix the greens? No, baby, you ain't no drink. No, Lord. Mm -mm. And it's weird because nobody can talk you out of doing shit when you done made up your mind to hurt yourself. Right? Because, like, I'm talking about base nine, and some people going, Yeah, I got to get home to get my shit. Because I would be out and think of an excuse to get home. I would be at the bank cashing a check, and the mother say, We have to certify. Never mind. <laughs> Fuck it. I go in the car, I be no. And the pilot say, you know you. So, 
Then it gets desperate. When the shit gets gloomy, when you've been in the room four weeks and Jim Brown have to visit. And Jim, of all my friends who came in and said, don't do that, but give me a hit. My friends, they tried. Listen, I was doing so much, I embarrassed cocaine dealers. They would say, Richard, man, God damn. Oh, man, come on, shit, look. Mm, why don't you just snort this shit? Man. I said, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just snort it. I just, well, how much you want? A kilo. <laughs> just for the weekend. So Jim got wind of the shit. He come in the house, and I get scared when I hear him come in the driveway. The bell rang go. They say, who is it? Jim Brown. Oh, shit. Not the physical, just the mental. You know, because he loved me. I know this mother ain't going for this. So I'm sitting, I'm going to show off him. I'm going to do it in front of him. Fuck it. <laughs> Jim come in and say, you want to go roller skating? <laughs> Where the bathroom? I said, Wait. You want some? No. What is it? Free base. What's free about it? Now, wait, Jim was cold. Jim said, What you going to do? I said, what? <laughs> Nothing, man. I ain't going nowhere tonight. No, I mean, what you going to do? About what? About that. See, you ain't no movie star to me, motherfucker. <laughs> All these other fools come in there, but I ain't scared of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> what you going to do? What you mean, yeah? You gonna go to the hospital with me and get well or what? Why is everybody trying to rule my life? I don't put you down for lifting weights. <laughs> Fuck all that, what you gonna do? And Jim said, well, I, am. I guess you don't want me for a friend. Huh? So I guess you don't want me for a friend, motherfucker. If I can't tell you nothing, fuck it. I don't want to see you destroy yourself. 